that straight up sounded like gunshots. What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another vlog and I've got Taylor with me. He's cold uh, and scared a little bit. So we are at Gettysburg right now at the Gettysburg National Park and we're right at one of the battlefields right now So it's obviously dark out as you guys can see so I think we're just gonna go walk around the battlefield Supposedly, it's like pretty haunted I guess and like I don't even know realistically Where we're going or where we're supposed to be going We kind of just walking around. There's a shed right here. That's pretty pretty creepy um we're just gonna walk around and kind of see what's up. Let's go this way. Taylor is, uh, you know, his, peop is that someone's house? Yep. All right, there's someone's house. So we're gonna go a different way and I'll bring you guys back. All right guys, so we found another trail and it is no shit pitch black right now. Without my light on, there you go. <laughs> That's how dark it is. Uh, and I've just got my phone light pointed so we're just gonna walk around and see what's up but Taylor is uh he's definitely a little creeped out kind of with good reason it's like legit we don't know where we are at all okay so this is like a big open I'm assuming this is like one of the battlefields I don't know if y'all can see it all it's literally just like this big open creepy field so now we're just driving around um, not really sure honestly i didn't do much research before i came here of like where to actually go but this whole entire city was the battlefield the battlefield is like five square miles um where like all the actual action took place i guess um and where like the main battlefield was is somewhere outside the town but i think it's like this whole area um but i'm gonna plug the uh the gettysburg cemetery into my GPS and we are gonna go ahead and go check that out real quick uh, I think that'll be pretty cool now we're on our way to what I'm pretty sure is the cemetery not a hundred percent positive again I don't really know where I'm going but it looked like I saw headstones up here so if it's not the cemetery then that's kind of scary Army of the Potomac 6th Corps artillery brigade battery blah 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 six 12 pounders July 2nd arrived in the afternoon with the Corps and held in reserve. July 3rd brought up to Zeigler's Grove in rear of the 3rd Division, 2nd Corps on repulse of Longstreet's assault. So I'm assuming some sort of craziness took place uh, in this area that we're at. And again, I think the cemetery is right to my right. We're just trying to find out how to actually get over to it. So this is kind of cool. Uh, it's a statue for the memorial to the Grand Army of the Republic, but it's got all these wreaths over it. Uh, it looks like they all fell down. I would pick them up, but it's so windy, they're just gonna fall right back down. But definitely a pretty cool statue. So you guys can see this house we're coming up on. There's actually two of them. Uh, I have no idea what they are, but I figured we could at least check it out. You never know. I'd love to have some kind of cool experience here, but again, we didn't really plan anything. We're just kind of That's kind of creepy. What's in there? A bed, a chair. Oh man, let's see if we can go in there. <laughs> Come on, Taylor don't want to do it. Let's just see. That's got a lock on it. All right, so I mean it's locked, but I'll give you guys a look from the outside at least. See, this is kind of creepy. This is what I like. Fireplace. Yo, that's so creepy. I wonder if this is from like that time. You know what I mean? Like if this is from that era. I don't know, definitely creepy. Check around the back, is there anything? No. Oh, that's the fireplace. All right, let's go check out this other one. Super creepy. So here's this other one. Again, I wish I knew what these buildings were. They're like, farmhouses is what they look like. Can y'all see in there? Kinda. It's kinda hard to get my light in and you guys in at the same time. Well, this is a door. Uh, 
I don't know if y'all heard that. That straight up sounded like gunshots. And I've heard like that's one of the most famous things here is like hearing cannon blasts and gunshots. Oh, it's locked from the inside right there. Got it. Definitely don't want to break any doors here. Try to go around to the other side. That one creepy though. I hope y'all heard that. I know you can't see me, but now we are in the uh, Soldiers National Cemetery. So I'm assuming this is where they buried all of the people from the Gettysburg Battle. Thank you. Um, so again, 3,900 people out of the 50,000 died. And I think another 18,000 were injured. Uh, so we're just gonna look around. We're just walking around. Maybe we'll see something cool. Here we Whoa. go. What? God, you scared the shit out of me. Start over here, I think. I think this is the Gettysburg Address. So part of the Gettysburg Address is right here. Um, I'm not sure if it was given right here, but I would assume so. So the famous quote from the Gettysburg Address that everyone knows, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing with their that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. So obviously that's old English, kind of hard for me to read, but the way that that man spoke was amazing. And the fact that he might've given that right here where we're standing is pretty wild. Again, that's him right there. We're just gonna walk through this and we'll just uh, pay our respects, I guess. Oh, they have a wreath on every single one. William H. Emery. William H. Emery. Just go through and highlight a couple people's names. Michael M. Montgomery. I don't know if you guys can tell how many there actually are, but it's a lot. Like it's rows and rows and rows, and every single one has a wreath on it. Frank Basta. Staff Sergeant, Infantry, World War II. Oh, so these aren't all people that fought here. I didn't know that. This guy was a World War II vet, died on October 9th, 1944. Still just walking around the cemetery. Just gonna give you guys a couple more minutes of video. So I don't know if there actually is any people buried here from the Civil War. I mean, I would assume there is, given that this is a Civil War cemetery, but as you guys saw, that guy was a World War II vet. So there's another super creepy house up there where that light is. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but that definitely looks creepy. So this gives you guys a layout of the actual Soldiers National Cemetery. So there are people from the Civil War buried here. They're separated by state, so you more than likely saw some of them. Um, President Lincoln was standing on a platform near the site of the Soldiers National Monument where he delivered the famed Gettysburg Address. So that would be actually where I showed you guys. That's where he gave the address from, uh, which I'm assuming was not the cemetery at the time. Graves of more than 6,000 United States service members, including 3,580 Union soldiers killed in the Civil War. Nearly half of the Civil War burials are unknown soldiers. That means half of the people that died, or not half the people that died, but yeah, I guess half the people that died in the Civil War um, no one knows who they are. They're buried as unknown soldiers. Uh, it's pretty creepy, pretty chilling, and kind of pretty sad that no one actually knew who these people were, but they were fighting for what they believed in. Definitely sad, makes 